Hey guys, it's Minimize and welcome back to RimWorld. Hope you're all alright. As always. Right, let's get the show on the road. Um, last episode we had the unfortunate event of Ollie dying. So rest in peace to Ollie. Um, he is over here in a where is he? Oh, there he is. Right, so he's in there. Nice and nice and safe and um nice and safe and dead. So yeah. That's where he's gonna stay for the time being. If we by any chance get hold of some of that special revival syrupy stuff, then we will be able to revive him, hopefully, without too much damage being done. So we'll keep him like in there until that happens. Um, it might not ever happen, so we'll, we'll have to see. Um, but on the plus side, we've got orbs. Uh, he joined, or she joined rather, um, last episode. And uh, she will probably take up Ollie's old weapon. Uh, really good at shoot, well, a, a big passion for shooting, pretty good at melee. So orbs just to equip the chain shotgun. Um, and if you can ditch the belt as well. Once you've done that, just uh, just ditch the shield belt. Okay, excellent. Alright, so Mowgli's going to uh, salvage some of that steel. We do need some steel because we're putting in the traps. Um, that was happening last episode. We'll have a we'll have a row of those up, and then hopefully whoever's on the uh, on mining duties will get us some more steel. Uh, a trade ship is passing nearby, so probably send Ammon over to have a word. Um, Ammon, just uh, go and talk to them. They're called On Prior Securities, and they are a bulk goods trader. Right, hopefully they'll have some decent stuff for us. Um, they do have some cows, so we could always farm cows, but I don't, I don't really want to. Um, Saying that, what sort of damage do they do? 2.2, whereas the boars, what do our boars do? 3.02, so our, our boars are a little bit more formidable um, in attack. Uh, we could always get some components in. I mean, we've got 4,000 to spend, so we could always get some components in. Uh, we could. We've got alpaca hide. Alpaca hide I don't think is great for anything, uh, apart from electric armor, really. So we'll sell off that. Uh, we'll sell all these others as well, the ones that we're not going to use. Uh, we've got 90 steel left. Uh, smoke leaf leaves, we can sell those. Um, we're still making a profit here, by the way. This is trade in 101. Get rid of that. That anything which is um, anything which is less than 100%, and then we'll just make new stuff because we've got the uh, we've got the ingredients there to do it. So why not, eh? If you've got the ingredients there to do it, why not? Um, probably sell some of the bad stuff as well. Uh, poor, we'll get rid of those, we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of all the clothes actually. We'll get rid of all the clothes and see what is what. Um, right, so we're making 1,300. And that is even after buying the components, which we probably... Probably need at some point, or will need. So, anything else we can buy from them in order to bring the money down? Um, no, I mean they've got, we've got elephants, that's not them, otherwise I'd buy the elephants. Uh, so yeah, they have sows and pigs, they have cows and bulls, they have nothing else in the way of animals. Um, so we've taken the components. Yeah, we take the components, we sent over everything else. Medicine. Medicine here is quite expensive. Uh, we could probably take the steel from them. That would probably put us around about zero um, after selling everything off. We could do that. We could take the steel, or we could take like the plasteel and stuff. What if we took that? We'd, we'd then 179 plasteel. See, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Right, what we'll do then, 
what we'll do, we'll just, shall we take the steel? And then we owe them 300. That gets us 600 steel. I think that's probably for the best. I guess it's a little bit of steel. And um, should we take the neutroamine as well? We'll take that too. Why not? Let's go for it. Because we can always, what we can always do is make wake up. Uh, if we make wake up, that I believe is, is it two? It is two neutroamine. If we decels and do forever, um, and then just drop on the floor. Ingredient radius, just bring that down. And then if we have a stockpile just behind for neutroamine, a zone area, stockpile zone, we'll have one just behind there. Storage, clear all. If we go neutroamine. And then if we make that an important stockpile, then that's where it should be uh, should be hauled to. That means the people at the drugs lab can just make it from behind them. That should all be good. Yeah, there we go. And then all they need to do is just turn around. Um, who... Blue Tricks is going to be our best constructionist, I think. And he is on level 18 out of 20. So what we could always get him to do is make some armchairs in here. So if we go furniture... Uh, can we go Devil Strand's armchair? Or can we go cloth? We've got 1,800 cloth. How much Devil Strand have we got? 1,800 again. So... If we change it back to cloth, we'll put in a few cloth armchairs in here, and then that will enable the people to. We'll put one in the. We'll put one in there too. Just one there also, and then it just means whoever's at the workstations just gets a little bit of comfort while they're doing their day-to-day -day duties. Right, all the steel traps are in, which means we have a, like a, basically a four layer of traps. We we'll probably get in a couple more layers too. Um, that's probably going to be beneficial to us. Wondering how much steel we have left. Uh, 742. So, I mean, we could get a... Uh, could put in, what, 10? I mean, 10 would take... 10 would take 700 steel. But I kind of want to... Um, what's underneath? It's, oh, it's silver below. Ah, uh, that's why we're getting so much silver. And not enough steel, because we're actually mining silver. Do you know what? I thought that was steel underneath there. Uh, bulk goods trader. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to have Ammon have a word again. Uh, it's going to be ultra fine interstellar, these guys. And we're going to buy all of their steel as well. Because while we're mining silver, we might as well, eh? They have turkeys. Oof, they've got some turkeys. Uh, they also have alpacas, but we've got all of those. We've got alpacas anyway, so... Alright. What we will do... We will take your neutromine, we'll take your components, and we'll take your steel. No, we won't. No, we won't. Let's hold off on the neutromine. 3,654. Can we chuck them a couple of... Um... Can we chuck them a little bit of... A bit of Labrador Retriever meat. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Right, so, we get all that steel. We've just handed over all of our money, so our wealth has gone down a little bit. I know wealth isn't massively tied to raid size anymore, um, but it will still bring the wealth down a little bit, I think. And once we've used that, we've got traps and so on. We can quite comfortably put in another couple of rows of traps now, so still Deadfall Trap. Uh, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right, Bandit Camp Opportunity. Although the reward is 2,000 silver, I probably don't need it. So we'll, uh, we'll just sit tight. Sit tight on what we've got at the minute. What is Blue Tricks up to? He's ah, he's making the uh, he's making the cloth chairs. So that one is excellent. So we need to keep an, uh, like a lookout on what he's uh, what he's making. Um, if we can highlight all of them and just uh, bring the quality to at least superior. Uh, this one's poor, so we'll deconstruct this one. All right, we'll make a we'll make a copy. A build copy. Oh no, cancel that. Cancel. Build copy. 
put that in there. Quality builder, make sure it's at least superior. It'll keep on working towards it until it is superior. Which is the great thing about the quality builder mod. Like if you've never used it, go ahead and use it, it's brilliant. And then what we want to do as well, Alpaca Revenge. Uh, okay. Alright. Nothing to worry about there. It's just Angus. He's just gone to get himself like a little bit of a meal. He's gone to get himself a takeaway. Uh, deep drill resources exhausted. So that's that one. Um, what we can do is reinstall it just here. Um, if we reinstall that one just there too. Oh, well done. Wild boar's been shot to death. That was our wild boar as well, so our turrets have accidentally killed our own wild boar. Superb stuff, just what we wanted, great start. Hey, everything's looking like almost hunky-dory at the moment. We still need a dining room. So maybe when these, um... Oh, hold on. So did that do any damage to the, um... Headshot off combat? No. Um, I don't know what actually set that to, uh, to trigger. So we'll go auto rearm and just rearm trap. And just sort of um, get those back up and online. Just trying to figure out what else needs doing. Uh, Angus is fully healed. Kit's in there doing a little bit of research. Uh, we have, we still have like 12 research projects queued up, which is great. Yeah, that's all looking good and groovy. After that, we can probably start researching all like the ship stuff. Alright, these need hauling. Rainbow's on that. Well played, Rainbow. Uh, Mad Animal, a local emu has gone mad. The emu is outside the uh, outside the boundary walls, though, so that's not too bad. Uh, raid. Okay, right. So, looks like they want to use sappers. So this is going to cause trouble again. Um, what we what we probably want to do is just send cheater out, maybe, with the revolver. To um, can we potentially get cheater out here with the revolver and just. Um, What I'm thinking, what I'm kind of thinking, right, animals, all of you. Alright. Alright, so everybody, come over here. Alright, cheetah, come back in here. I'm going to try and do, or what I wanted to try and do, was have people sort of filter in um, and, and try and force them to come through this way. Which I don't think is going to happen. Uh, Fennel's pregnant. We've got one of them, one of these guys are down. Uh, one of our boars are down. Um, right, Cheetah, get back inside, please. Oh, I've got a food poisoning from wheat. Yeah, I'm kind, I'm kind of hoping that they'll just get forced through. It looks as though they're going through the tunnel, though. Right, here we go. It looks as, right, it looks as though we're kind of forcing them through now. Alright, animals. Alright. And then all of you guys just come down here. Alright, yeah, here we are. So we're kind of forcing them through. Cheetah, come up here. Alright, yeah, we're kind of doing a little bit of damage, kind of sorting it out. We've kind of achieved what we wanted to do as well, which is good. Um, 
for the sappers last time, if you remember, they caused quite a bit of trouble. And it looks as though these sappers now are not causing too much. Right, they're now fleeing, which is great news. So if we undraft all of you lot, uh, we've got McEchron. Um, what's he all about? Incapable of none, ugly, teetotal, and psychically deaf. He's really good at mining, so capture McEchron. He will die soon. Um, oh, the bloody emu's going after him. Look at him, the mad emu. He's going after Summage. Uh, Syke, Syke, what are you all about? Chemical interest and too smart. Capable of skilled labour and hauling. Right. Okay, so that emu's been taken out. No worries, no worries. That all worked a little bit better than what I thought it was going to. Right, just unforbid everything. Right, cheetah's bringing through McEchron. Hopefully we can, uh... Hopefully we can sort him out. Cheetah, you better be able to um, to patch people up. Right, Cheetah, character. Medicine, you're actually quite good at it. Right, so let's um, stop him from being able to uh, use medicine. And Cheetah, just um, prioritise tending to him. Let's just try and patch him up. Left arm shot off and left leg shot off. So he's not, he's not all that manoeuvrable, but we can get hold of limbs and stuff. We can make him. Right, so we'll let him have medicine now. So he can have herbal medicine. Social, no, we want prisoner, chat and recruit. So he can be like a dedicated miner. Uh, crazy has given birth. So we need to set all different kinds of animals to be trained because we've got a lot that are able to be trained now, which is excellent news. Right, McEachron's got a severe illness, but that's because of, like, all the blood loss. Uh, what I'm also going to do now as well is I am going to enable the pre-haul area to be all over the field. So it can be over the cloth, uh, over the cotton field, rather. Um... It can be over, yeah, it can be over the hayfield too. Just so the uh, the animals can haul in the cotton. Or the cloth, because that's the end product. Alright, so what happened to Psyche? Uh, at a stab. His left kidney, stomach, left shoulder. So that was going to be one of the... Um, one of the deadfall traps, which is... Uh, I'm so, so happy we got those in when we did. It was uh, for the best, wasn't it? Alright, so with the solar flare, we can't operate any kind of electrical equipment. Just, like, any electrical equipment just won't operate. So we're going to have to find other things to do and sort of be, all, be sort of, like, real primitive for a little bit. As you can see, kit. Ah, uh, there we go. The uh, solar flare has ended, so in a timely fashion... Uh, we also have an LMG. Probably trade somebody's weapon for that. So, Grouse, when you're up and about. Or Kit. Kit, you've got a bolt-action rifle. Maybe Kit. Maybe, maybe, maybe. What's your shooting like? Shooting's eight, so equip that. Then we'll sort out weapons for the others as well. Combat supplier. Okay. Alright, Grevrath has a chain gun. Grouse is probably next. Grouse and Cheetah. We'll get these two equipping these. We've got a machine pistol and uh, a heavy SMG. So Grouse can come along and equip that. And uh, Cheetah can come along and equip the machine pistol. Then we, what we can do is go to the combat supplier. So Ammon, come along talk to uh, Emporium Interplanetary. Then what we'll do after that, what we'll do then, we we'll, should be able to get some medicine, hopefully. 
Uh, we've, we've only got 235, so let's try and sell what we can. Uh, pump shotgun, uh, molotovs, frag grenades, EMP grenades. Uh, gets us 217. Um, ironwood mace, get rid of that as well. Uh, go juice, we'll sell all of that. We don't really need it. Okay. That's all sold and done and sorted, traded with. Alright, let's try and get these bits and just try and haul those over. Alright, we're looking pretty solid again. I'm liking where we are. I'm liking where we are and what we're up to. We're doing good. We're making moves. And that's what counts in the RimWorld world. Everyone's pretty happy, which is brilliant. Getting in quite a bit of food. How much meat did we have? Uh, 2,446 and 1,900 of that is alpaca meat from the uh, Manhunter pack last episode, I think it was. Let's get that saved a little bit. Right, let's check out the rest of these chairs that Blue Trick should have made. So that one's superior. Superior. That one's good. They probably want to deconstruct this one. Uh, that one's got 100 cloth. Uh, we've got one over here, haven't we? That one's good as well. So what we'll do is um, we'll deconstruct that one in a little bit. Once we've got the other ones up and running. People are able to sort of sit down and be a little bit comfy in them. Uh, let's just set all of these to be auto rearmed. A new recruit is recruited McEachron. So McEachron is a now a member of the colony. Um, he doesn't have a left arm and he doesn't have a left leg. And we need to sort something out. So maybe, have we researched bionics yet? Let's have a quick look and just see what is in the production room. Uh, simple prosthetics and a bionics workbench is there too. We may have to buy some off of traders then. Either way, McEachran, he needs an arm and a leg. Which is probably going to cost us an arm and a leg. Uh, we'll get a simple prosthetics bench in just for the moment, just to get him a little something. Uh, it may have been uh, inspired recruitment, actually, which won over McEachran. Alright, everybody's off to bed. Okay, so we're going to call the episode there. Thank you again for watching. Thank you again for joining us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, or I will bite your face off, and we'll see you again soon. So, guys... Until then, stay safe, take it easy, and uh, ciao for now.